for my tutorial i'll be using an arduino you know development board now arduino you know has an atmeca 328p microcontroller which is a 28 pin microcontroller made from microchip the microcontroller that is the atmeca 328p has an internal eprom capacity of around 1 kilobyte or 10 24 bytes this one now we will read and write to this particular EEPROM uh, using the Arduino IDE. So here I am using the Arduino IDE and I have selected the Arduino, the board as Arduino you know, which is connected to COM3 of my serial port. Now to access the EEPROM capabilities of the Arduino, you have to include the header file EEPROM.h, this one. After that, uh, this is the normal setup. We have a void setup here and a void loop. Now we won't be using anything inside the loop here. Uh, we'll be sticking mainly to the setup part. So uh, we will be sending all the information to the PC uh, through the serial monitor. You can access the serial monitor from here. So we'll be using serial interface to send the data from the Arduino you know, to the PC so we can view the information. Now here we will learn how to check the size of the EEPROM for a particular Arduino port. You can use this code for both Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. The difference is that Arduino Uno has a um, 1 kilobyte EEPROM while the Arduino Mega is having a 4 kilobyte EEPROM cap capability. So you can store more data on the Mega one. Here I will be using the Uno one. That means that I will be limited to 1024 bytes of EEPROM. To measure the EEPROM length we have a function called as eprom.length this is provided by the eprom.h header file so if you run this program i mean if you run this function it will return the size of the eprom in the form of an unsigned int or just a normal int so that data will come here and we can use it to send that information back to our pc like this one so i'm going to run this program uh, from here you can upload it so I will open the serial monitor now and from here you can see that the EEPROM size is equal to 1024 8-bit locations uh, or 1024 1-byte locations now if you are running this on an Arduino Mega it will come as 4096 in this program we will learn how to read and write to the internal EEPROM of an Arduino Uno board so here we will be using the eprom.h library uh, for calling the functions. Now we will use two major functions. One is known as the eprom.write, this one. And the other one is called as the eprom.read, this one. Now both of these things are used to read and write to the eprom library. Now one thing you have to remember is that eprom has a limited lifespan. So if you continuously read and write to the EPRO, the cell may get corrupted. So you can, uh, the lifespan is around 100,000 life cycles. So if you continuously read and write, you can destroy the memory cell at that particular junction. The other thing you have to consider is that the write operation takes some time, around 3.8 milliseconds. So we should factor in that into our program whenever we are doing continuous read or writes. So we'll go back into the program. So here we'll be writing a value 25 to the EEPROM location 0. This one. This is the address of the location. So it is the first location we'll be writing to it. So the value we are going to write is 25. So we will be using this EEPROM.write function and we'll first give the address. So that will be 0 here. This one will be 0. And the value to write they will be 25. So on executing this particular function, uh, the ID or the code will write the value 25 into the um, EEPROM cell whose address is zero. That means the first one. Now we will read it back using the EEPROM dot read. For that we have to give only the address. So here we'll be giving the EEPROM location address. So that is zero here. So the function will read the data and we'll send the data to store the data in the this particular variable which is value now we will send the data back to the pc for that we'll be using a serial dot print 
uh, where first we will send the the prom location and then the data that is the letter 25 here so i'll run this code you have to open the serial monitor and we are uploading the code right now now you can see that the prom location is equal to 0 which is the first address and data is equal to 25 if you want we can change that i can give a different location here for example let's say it's 22 and the value is 250 so this is the new location the prom location is equal to 2 or the address is equal to 2 and data is equal to 250 uh, the uh, uh, for the atmega 328p that is the arduino you know there are 1024 bytes so the addresses range from 0 to 1024 so you can uh, use addresses from 0 to 1023 that is 1024 locations and each of these locations can store a single byte so we have to be careful that when we are using this particular function you can only give a maximum value of 255 because then it will be bigger than eight, um, 1 byte and the value will not be stored properly for example I will show you if I increase that value I will be writing to the same address as you can see that from here we are storing the value 258 which is more than the 8 bit size that is available to us so the data is not properly stored and only thing you can see is 2 so only the lower address bits are I mean the lower data bits are stored so I am using the programmer calculator from the Microsoft Windows and I have entered that decimal value 258 that we were trying to store in the 8 bit location as you can see that the value is more than 8 bit the one is here and only the lower part of the 8 bit is stored here so that is 0010 that is binary equivalent for 2 that is the data we are getting here so if you want to store more than 255 we have to use a different method I'll tell you later that now if you have any doubts regarding this one do put it in the comment section I will try to address that also all the codes that I have explained in the tutorial is available on our github repo you can download it by going to the this particular link and I have put the link in the description so you can click it from there and if you want you can download it directly from here download as zip so these are Arduino files you can open it directly with the Arduino ID you also have a website so you can uh, there is a textual description of this tutorial also there you can check it from there now this particular program is similar to the previous one that I have shown to you now here we'll be using both write, read and write eprom.read write and eprom.read for storing some data here i want to show you that you can also store ascii text like uh, character a character t like that to this particular eprom for that you have to use the same eprom.write you have to give the address that is zero here and the, you have to give the character that is a you have to use single quote a here so that uh, the data is formatted as an 8-bit ASCII so this will store the letter A capital letter A at the location 0 then it will store the letter T this one at a prom location 1 we will also store 1 and 6 which are numbers at location 2 and 3 like this so this will show something like AT16 so when we are reading this data the data that is you are reading from the first location that is the character we have to convert it back to character that is what we are doing here uh, we are using the prom.read to read the location 0 that is this one which contain the binary representation of ASCII -A. now we will give the character and which will convert the binary to the character representation and that data is sent to the serial.print then you can see that in the um, serial monitor same here also uh, this is only required for uh, displaying the characters like a and t here i will be showing the same thing like what happens when you try to store a value that has more than 8 bits so you can run this program and it will show you how the data is stored so i'll run this code once more as you can see the in text 8016 is there and then 255 uh, that will be this one 
then we are storing 256 which is more than 8 bit so it's not here uh, it's stored incorrectly as 0 and then we will try to store 341 which is also more than 8 bits so only the lower part so it will show only 85 so this one 